you are welcome to my channel this afternoon i want to talk about why the diesel engine have return lines if you notice in gasoline engine there is no return line the carburetor or the injector supply the engine without return lines but when it comes to diesel engine there is always a return line why is it like that that is what i'm discussing in this very video please pay attention so that you are going to benefit maximally why diesel engines have return lines the reason is that the injector the injection pump supply the injectors excess fuel more than what injector needed the injection pump supply excess diesel to the injectors more than what the injector needed that is why they return the the extra or the leftover have to be returned from the injectors back to the tank or the fuel tank of the engine if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe use it as a December bonus for me subscribe to my channel please hope you have done that now let's go down to the details the injectors are calibrated why is it calibrated it is calibrated so that the injector is going to supply only needed fuel to the combustion chamber if injectors supply or injected excess fuel to the combustion chamber it will not be it will not combust and when it doesn't combust that is what we call incomplete combustion because the fuel is excess the engine cannot combust it that is why the injectors are calibrated to ensure that it is only a specific amount of fuel is being injected or atomized on the combustion chamber so that the engine will have the ability to combust it then the remaining one the injector you can see the, the you can see the injection pump on the screen now that's the injection pump injection pump supplies through the pressure pipe or through the ring it supply the injectors with fuel you can see the injectors this is the injector on the screen. Hope you see the injectors. Yeah. This injector now atomize or inject it to the cylinder. The injection pump supply excess to the injector. So the injectors now regulate its own supply to the combustion chamber. When it's supplied to the combustion chamber, the remaining one will go back to the tank, to the return line. That is why diesel engine have return line. But the question is, if the engine is not running, will the, will the return line still be returning? The answer is no. When the engine is not running, the return line is not returning. Why? There is a valve in the return line. It is, you can see on the screen, it is like a boat. It's a boat. But it is a valve because it has a kind of um, spring and a kind of bore inside that it is only be actuated with pressure. So this that valve ensure that the reserve in the injection pump does not return back to tank unless the engine is running. At, so it is the pressure of the it is the pressure of the engine that makes sure that when the engine is running, the return line is going to build a pressure. It is the pressure that push the valve. And to allow the valve to open but when the engine is not running the return line will not have any pressure to actuate the valve to open so when the engine is not running the valve lock the diesel right inside the injection pump that is why you notice that when the engine is not running when the engine is not running the diesel remain in the injection pump but if the diesel goes back why the engine is not running if the diesel go back to the tank it means that returning valve is bad and in such scenario, the engine will be having a starting in the morning when you want to start the engine that first time in the morning because the reserve has to turn back to time, the injector is empty. But if the valve is working, it will lock the fuel right inside the injection.
the injection pump and ensure that the injection the the fuel in the injection pump did not return back to the tank. So it is until when the engine is running, the pressure of the return line now will now push the valve and ensure that it's open. So it allows the, the, the fuel to go back to the tank. That is how returns work. In my next video, I'll talk about what can make your return line not return and how can you identify return line and diesel engine right from your tank? It has two holes, the in and out. How can you identify it? And what can make your return line not to return? Thank you for listening to me. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the video. To subscribe to my channel. Share and make comment. Thank you so much, Mr. Angie. Thank you.